Welcome to another video with Mr. Long and we're looking at this grade 12 CAT prac exam paper one from November 2017. We've just done question one and we're now going to go into question two. Just a reminder that this paper is on the old format which means it's out of 180 for the whole paper. Your CAT papers tend to be out of 150 now but this is okay because we can have some extra questions to practice on. So let's get stuck into question two which is another word question. So we're going to question two, which we're dealing with a document about a food harvest festival, the different accommodation available for the visitors at this festival. So I've got the document open that's to stay or not to stay. So there we go. There's the document over there. And they first ask us to change the page layout as follows. We want to set the page size to legal and multiple pages to a book fold. So let's go see. That's to do with the layout, if I remember correctly. So let's go look at the layout and... We've got different options over here. And so I'm going to set the size. I think it might be the size of it. So let's check out the size. So there we go. Oh, there's a legal option. So I'm going to click legal option. So now it's not illegal. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. And then we want to look for something that says that if we set the multiple pages to a book fold, multiple pages to a book fold fold now i don't see anything that helps me with that so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna click on this this dialog pop-up to see what i can get more options on the page setup so let's click on that and see what happens and when i do that okay so there's the margins oh there's multiple pages so we want a book fold so we're gonna click over there and see oh there we go so the key thing you have to remember is like the words they use in the question is you just need to look for those keywords and if you find them exactly like it is you're probably doing the right things so there we go we said book fold there we go so i'm gonna say okay and there we go so i'm happy with that so it's a reset so if they ever come back and look there they can see that it's book fold fantastic so there we go so let's move on to 2.2 the oldest Cape Dutch or Victorian villa is 600 years old. Find the comment on the first page and respond to the question with the correct answer. So we want to say 600 years old. So let's have a look. So there's, oh, there's the comment. How old is the oldest? So we're going to put a reply in there. We're going to say 600 years old. We go. We're just going to insert that and we're going to click on post the reply. So there we go. So there's our reply. There you can see my name so they can know who's done the reply. So by the way, if you can't see these options, if you come here to review, um, you can click on show comments. If I click that away, you won't see it, but you'll see that there is a comment over there. But if you click on show comments, then you can see that the stuff's over there. So just remember that if you can't see that comment. Add a watermark to the document as follows. So we've got a picture that we want and we want the image to be 200% scale. So let's see what that means. So we're going to come here to watermark. So that's probably a design issue. If I come, oh, there's watermark. Again, if you don't know where to go, just click on one of the options. You'll eventually find what you're looking for, but it really helps if you know where to go. So I know that it's a design issue. So let's go here to watermark and we want not to use one of those. We want to use our custom watermark. So I'm going to click on custom watermark and we want a picture watermark. And we want to use that picture, which is in the exam folder. So I'm going to click on select picture and we're going to work offline. And so I've got the dialog that's popped up and I've navigated to the exam folder. And we want that to pick, which is, that's the one I want. I'm going to click on it and insert it. So that's the one that we want. And we want to scale it to 200%. So let's see what the output is. So there is a scale and we want it to be 200%. And that's all that they say. Am I correct? There we go. So we're going to click OK or apply. Either one will be fine. And there you can see at the background, you can see the image and that is scaled to 200%. Let's move on. Find the text booking form on the last page. So let's scroll down. There we go. Yeah, we have the booking form. And we want to find the checkbox form field next to the special shopper. So special shopper, there we go. That's the one that we want. So I'm going to select it. There we go. And set the default value of this to check. So with these form fields, when you doubt, just right click. I'm going to right click on it and let's go to properties. And we want its default to be checked. So checked, enabled, bookmark checked. Default value must be checked. So there we go. Straightforward. That's exactly what we want it to be. Then add the B and B option to the combo box control next to the type of accommodation. Type of accommodation. We're going to right click on it. Go to properties. And we want to add. They said add B and B option to the combo box. It should that this option appears first. Just remember that. So we're going to say B and B. And we're going to add it. But the next thing that we do, we need to make sure that that's at the top. So I want to click on it, make sure it's selected and move it to the top. So that is the first option. And then we want to format the text form field control next to the total. So let's come here to total. There's total. We're going to come there. This must accept only numbers. So when again, 
what we need out right click when we right click on the total go to properties and we want to accept what type of field we only want numbers so only numbers so i'm gonna click on number as the type and display the value in south african currency so maybe there's a format a number format so there's oh there's currency that looks like a currency that looks like south african currency so i'll accept that one thank you and then display help text days times rate when the help key is pressed so i'm going to copy that when the help key is pressed that's got to do with the help desk and we want when the help key is pressed the f1 so i'm going to click on that and we want to type in our own text and that's going to be that days times rate and click ok you see it's exactly like it says in the question you see the words help text you see help key f1 is pressed so we just do it exactly like it is in the question paper and we find those keywords we'll get exactly where we need to be so coming over here click ok and there we go i think we've done those ones so that's great and then find the text insert save date field at the bottom of the document there it is there it is that's the field and replace it with a field containing the date on which the document was saved so we want to not have the save date we actually want to put that as a field so we're going to come here to insert and we want a field which is one of these options over here quick parts we're looking for a field and we actually want to replace the whole text and we just want the date on which the document was saved so i'm going to look for my options here i'm going to click look for the document saved is there anything about saved document property let's go to s maybe there's something on s save date i'm going to click on that and there we've got our options over there they don't specify the format of it but they just say they must contain replace it with the field that on the date that the document was saved and this is the document that was last saved so i'm happy with that click ok and there we go so we can actually delete all this other stuff that we don't want i should have selected all the text but that's fine if we just have it like that if you ever want to check that you got the right one you can always just right click on that field and edit the field and there you can see that it's a saved date so you can always change that if you want so i'm going to click on save and i think that's the whole question done all 16 marks there we go that is question two done that was quite quick and easy so let's move on to the excel now make sure you go to our youtube channel and click on that playlist tab to get more exam papers that you can practice on share us with your friends click on that like button and subscribe and don't forget us on tiktok at mr long education and remember don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.